Okay, so like I said, this is the session right here. Um, the first thing I would do if I were you, if you can right now, would be to grab this zip, you know, all the modules, put it in your modules folder, sites, all modules, you know, well, put the modules that are in there in your modules folder, and, uh, and that'll be, you know, that'll be all these. Now, uh, let's go to my test version for this demonstration. I'm going to log in. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So, I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is enable teleport because that's how I, you know, that's how I get around my websites. I use teleport. Um, so, and like I said, usually what I'll do here if I don't have module filter enabled is I'll control F, I'll find, teleport, and then I'll enable it, you know? Because I'm not big on like, I guess I'm just not big on, I'm pretty lazy, let's put it that way. And uh, I think that's kind of a good way to be. Okay, so now teleport is enabled, control M, boom. I mean, you get your little teleport thing, right? So for me, it's like forget this whole thing over here, <laughs> you know, like opening menus and closing. I mean, there's a thing called dynamic persistent menu, the HTML, that, that makes this a little more useful. But to me, like if I want to go to my block section, I'll type blocks and I'll go to blocks, you know, or if I want to go to menus or if I want to uh, go to content types. And if you just type content, you get anything that's associated with content, you know? So, yeah. I love teleport. I am in love with teleport. Um, I wonder if Camtasia is recording this screen, too. I guess we'll find out, huh? <laughs> Session might be for live people only, but that's okay, I guess. Um, Okay, so teleport's enabled. I'm going to use it to go back to my module section. And if you guys ever have any questions at any point during this, feel free to just let me know. Um, it's, it's all pretty really straightforward. Let's see what the next thing I was going to do. Because I wrote it all down, so I didn't get out of order. Okay. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, module filter. It's right here. You know, I'm gonna enable it, and you'll see immediately this page is gonna be different, um, in an awesome way. So, like, here's what it looks like now. You can go to your administration stuff, your core. You know, it's all separated on this left tab here, which is cool. I never use it though. Like I said, I'm pretty lazy, so I'll just type like CCK. It's not install, but or ad admin, you know, and it it filters them out really good. I, like I said, man, it's just like as you work day to day in and day out, these are the little things that save you that five ten minutes each day, like add up so much, you know. And it also makes it so you don't end up like that guy I was working with who just hated it. <laughs> I hate Drupal, but I work with it every day. Like whatever. So, I mean, and that's one of the things, too, that, that I love. It's like if there's a problem you see, just Google it. Find find the solution because they're, they're all out there. Okay, the next one's permission select. Permissions is, is an area that a lot of people don't really love just because it gets out of control. It gets overbearing, you know, and uh, so I'm going to teleport there. I said I'm going to teleport there. Okay. And so this is what it looks like right now, and you can just imagine if you know we have three roles right here imagine you have 10 roles you know boom and then imagine you have 100 CCK fields Shploom, you know and it's just like all these checkboxes everything's out of control so that's what permissions looks like right now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn on permissions filter was it select or filter first ah select first so, oops, permission, uh, eh, eh. I want to make sure I do this in the right order because, what is step, 
Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, we're going to enable permission select. Now, what permission select does is it gives you multi checkboxes. Okay, so like, uh, let's go back one more time or forward maybe twice. And like, so let's say I wanted to enable for an authenticated user all the node access stuff at once. Like, and imagine there's 100 TCK fields. You know, I'm in here doing this all day long. You know, it's just terrible. Um, so, we're going to make it cool with some multi-select boxes. Uh, go back one more time. Here we are. Permissions. Select. Save configuration. Now we're going to go to our permissions page. Cool. And you'll notice you have all these nice checkboxes. Now the um, like the administrator role always well look, see how there's two not selected here? I could tell it, you know, select all of them for administrator. I want it all selected and it and it'll do that. I'm gonna undo those two just for fun. And you can do the same thing here for anonymous user select select all, deselect all, and then for each one, you know, select all, deselect all, reselect that, deselect that. Okay. So you, you see the the value of that. I mean, it's well, if you don't, I mean, eventually when you're working with Drupal, you will, like, because that just this thing just gets out of control. Now, um, the next thing we're gonna do to the permission section to clean it up some more is permissions filter. Uh, I'm thinking this is uh <laughs> All right, go back to there. And we're going to enable permissions filter. Now, this is where it gets really cool. Um, because permissions filter really turns it into you know, if you ask me something useful. Uh, because like I said, it just balloons out of control. It's not like it's not useful now, but it's just not it's not like this until you enable that module. So you can select, let's say, the authenticated user and the taxonomy uh, module. Click filter permissions. And now we just get that. You know, it's not this giant thing. Or we can do all roles for the menu module. I want to I want to see all those. You know, and we get those. Um, or I'll do a couple more examples just to dry this home. What am I looking for? Node content authenticated user. Okay, so we get a bunch of them. There's just the authenticated user, and then we can check them all, do check them all, whatever we're gonna do. Permissions are useful. You're welcome. Um, now, the next thing: admin role. Like I was telling you before we could get the projector working admin role is like if you have if you have the need for more than one super user you know um, so let's say you got a couple of developers working on the site and they're always gonna need all permissions to everything right so let's go in and enable it and I'll just show you what it does yeah go on uh -huh. Um, well, here's the thing. Like, if you have 50 roles, they'll all be listed here. So what I would do is I would go down and I'd be like, this, that, you know, these, those, and this, and these, and that module, and then filter, and then you're only going to get those, you know. Sure. You're still going to scroll all the options right. And you have to check the unless you've got the thing that yeah, I mean, there is a thing called checkbox. Um, it's for Firefox. I don't know if you, you guys use Firefox or not. I, I'm kind of a Chrome guy now, but Firefox is also awesome. It's called checkbox, and it does horizontal and vertical checkalls. So, and it's, it doesn't slow anything down either. There's one called checkall. There's a module called checkall. It's just, I mean, maybe some people can get it to work great, and it's not a bear, but ugh. I mean, it looks the same as permission select, but 
it is different <laughs> and it's like slows things down but it's called check fox see yeah and it's what it really is is not, nothing to do with Drupal but it's, it's an add-on for Firefox and it just recognizes I guess because the you know permissions module builder did it right that all of these are a, a line of checkboxes and it's gonna allow you to check vertically and horizontally so check that one out it's a great question um, because you're right. I mean, if you did want to do it across that way, it would it would be a lot of checking, <laughs> you know. So uh, okay. So then the admin role thing. I'm just gonna. Uh, one thing about it is it doesn't turn on right away. So when you turn it on. See what note did I write about? We need to disable and enable a module to see it take effect. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll enable admin role. And um, if you already have a role called administrator, change it before you enable this. Because it's going to, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything, but it's going to give that role all your permissions that you have. You know, so unless you're cool with that, then. Uh, then that's what you'll do. We're going to hit save. <clears throat> so now we'll go. It said I have to. What did I say I have to do? Disable and re enable a module to see it take effect. So I'm going to disable database logging. Oh, where's my. Okay. Save. And then. Database logging, save. Okay, so now when we go to our permissions page, we should see that the administrator role has been created if it wasn't, and it has all permissions for everything, right? Boom. Now, the really cool part about that, and I've probably already said this like five times, is like if you add a new CCK field, if you add a new module, if you add whatever, any user with this role attached to them automatically has access to those things. You don't have to go in after you added the field and monkey with the permissions at all. You know they will have access to everything. You know, kind of like the super user, you know, user one. But it, it, it just multiplies it across users. Now, I guess I'm kind of going over my time, but I'd like to show you um, uh, Masquerade real quick. Because it's it kind of ties in with administration. Uh, masquerade, if you have multiple roles, is for an administrator, and uh, it lets you switch between those roles without logging in and logging out. It's really very helpful if you're, you know, doing anything with roles or users. Really, well, what did I do? I teleport somewhere weird. That's what's kind of cool about teleport too. Sometimes you just find stuff like, wow, I didn't know about that. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't talk about backup and migrate. Let me t let me enable that real quick and show you. Backup and migrate for me is another thing. It's like you gotta have it. You know what it does? I just enable backup and migrate. I'm gonna teleport there. I said I'm gonna teleport there. Sometimes you have to click the button a couple of times, but there and search through a menu if you ask me. Uh, so this is backup and migrate. And right now, default settings, everything's cool if you ask me. I click backup, it's going to download me a backup of the database. So for my guys that were in the, the install fest session that I, I failed horribly at, you would just, instead of like um, creating a new database, well, you would create a new database, and then what you could do is you could just import this MySQL that you just export it. So it's like, I do this very early and often when I'm developing a site. Like, pretty much every time I do something that I like, I make a backup of the database, you know? Because who knows, the next module you can install could cripple your whole thing. You know, it doesn't happen very often, but it happens, you know? Be careful, backup your database. And uh, your code, it's like, it's like that's all Drupal is. It's, it's, it's a bunch of files and it's a database, you know? So you have your files backed up. I'm, I'm guessing you know how to do that. You just grab them from the FTP. This is where you get the other piece of that. Grab that database when things are looking good, <laughs> you know? It, and that way, if things all wreck, you're cool. Like, you have your database from whenever you clicked this button last time. Back it up, we're back it up again, you know? 
So there it is. And you can always just re-import this when, when your install gets wrecked. And, and you know, if you don't wreck your install, maybe you're not being creative enough, you know? <laughs> Yeah, um, well, no. Well, okay, yeah, there, there actually is. Um, from here, you'll notice that by default, Drupal, uh, where is it? No, that's not it. Database options, okay. Exclude the data from the following tables, right? And see how it has like a bunch of stuff already checked for you in there? This is what could cause a little bloat if you just do it through phpMyAdmin, is because anything that's in cache or or watchdog especially is, is is a dog for for it just it just saves a bunch of stuff in your database you know that you don't really need to reinstall so it by default it's not going to save like it saves the tables so you can exclude the tables altogether which i don't know why you would do that maybe there's got to be a reason but um but yeah you can, it automatically excludes the data that you don't need to re get your site working again because as soon as you restart your site it, it'll just rebuild this stuff for you and that way you don't have a giant MySQL file and plus for me it's just easier <laughs> you know too on top of that you know it's just like I teleport here and click backup uh, okay so then the last thing we'll do is uh, we're gonna do a uh, masquerade which I love just because, again, it just makes things really super simple. And and all this is going to do, wait, let me follow my directions. I never follow my own directions. Okay, first we'll create a new role. Then we're going to create a user with that role. And and what we're going to end up doing here is being able to, from our little side nav here, just clicking, okay, log me in is that. Okay, switch me back to the admin. Okay, switch back, 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 back. Because, you know, you're going through, you're doing stuff, you're like, I want to see real quick what the writer can do on this page or see on this page, you know? So it's like you have your little quick list of people that you can just, okay, switch me to that. Like, I don't have to log out of my site, log back in, find a password, deal with anything. I'm just going to masquerade as them. Okay, let me turn it on. Oh, wait. Let me follow my, follow my rules here. Create a new role. Create a user with that role. Then enable. Okay, roles. And then add a role. I'm gonna add a writer. Or the roles is writers. Add role. All right. And then we're going to go to the users page. And yeah, there it is. We're gonna add a user with that new role. So username is gonna be Steve. Email s at s dot com. The good old fake email address I always use. Active and they're a writer. So we're not gonna notify s at s dot com that a new account has been created. Uh, all right. So that's been created. So now we're going to go enable masquerade. If I knew how to spell it. Oh, it's not enabled. Der modules. Okay. See, there I am looking through my list. I don't need to be doing that. Masquerade, save. Okay. All right, so masquerade's enabled, but what we need to do is go to our block section, and because it, it automatically creates this uh, masquerade block, so I like to add it to the left nav, and like you can add things right here, but for some reason, if you don't move it around, like it just ends up on the bottom anyway. So I always like to move it <laughs> and put it really where I want it, which is right there. So here's masquerade. If we wanted to, you know, it's an autocomplete box. If we wanted to masquerade over to Steve and see that he obviously can't see the block section, you know, and then we can switch back. Um, 
making it a little bit easier here is masquerade settings and we can tell it quick block switch to Steve I, I set this this type of thing up for like my uh, moderator users or whatever that way I can just switch to them real quick and see what they're seeing with a, with a link and uh, that is it I, I kind of blew through that uh, but I mean you know these these modules like I said in, in the session thing I, I don't work on sites without them if they're not gonna let me install these modules I'm like forget your site then you know <laughs> I'm, I'm installing these and I'm working with them you know this this is how I, I do adminning um, but I've never had somebody say I can't you know they always fall in love with this stuff when I put it in there so um, and I'll tell you what man that guy hates Drupal a lot less <laughs> now you know and uh, and again, I just encourage you, if there's something you hate, Google it, search for a module to fix it. There, It's all out there, you know. Um, and 7 going to have at least some of this stuff, I think, in core. Uh, maybe not, but whatever. I, I won't upgrade until they have all this stuff ported over to it, because I like it. And uh, I think that's, that's it for this session. Are, are there any questions that I can cover? Um, no, I haven't. I mean, I, sometimes I'll use Boost if uh, if there are performance issues on the website, but I don't even think this stuff gets called for just regular anonymous users, you know? Pretty sure it doesn't. I could be wrong. But, any other questions? No? You're all good? All right. Right on. And uh, I think if nobody else is going to use this room, I don't know, what's the next session in here? Because uh, I kind of have some people. Oh. Okay. I just, because I, I, I want to help some people get Drupal installed. I kind of. Okay. Cool. So, um, I'm going to click stuff.